Hi, this is Sean. This is going to be a quick sequencer tutorial where we will create three cameras, three shots. We will also show how to use the track, rig a crane, animate the cameras, edit the cuts together, create a fade track, and then finally we'll use blueprints to trigger the sequence and finally show how to output a video. So let's jump in and get started. Alright, so here we are in Unreal. We can go up to Cinematics, we will add a level sequence. We can put it somewhere, put it in the sequence track. We can call this new sequence 2. Hit save. So now it creates this clapboard icon. And we've also got the sequencer. And you can dock it. I like to dock it right in here. So for our first shot, let's create a camera. We can create a camera a couple ways. One is we can type, type camera over here in the assets area. We can also simply click on here and we'll create a camera. It will also create a camera cut track, which is what we're going to use to edit our shots together. So I'm going to do that. So it's created a camera and this icon shows what camera you are looking through. So currently we're looking through the camera we created. So why don't I move that camera around and then I'm going to set keyframes on it. So I can select the area that you want to set keyframes on and you can hit there's a lot of different ways of doing it, but I'm just going to select those areas, hit enter. You can see the keyframes have been created. I'm going to move the time slider to 50, move the camera in a little bit, move it around, and we'll hit enter again. So those keyframes have been created. Now, if we look at the camera cut, click it through here, we can see that our animation has been recorded. Excellent. So now I'm going to edit this cut track, so I want to create a new cut from 50 to 100, say. And so we'll do that. We're going to make a rig crane, and we'll also use the uh, rail track. And the rail track is a spline actor. The rig track is a spline actor. We zoom in. You can make the track longer. You can also add additional nodes or bend the track by holding the Alt key. So now if I move this, you can see that the track is bending. Then we need to make a couple cameras. We'll drag cinematic cameras out. And then we just simply parent those cameras to those objects. So to do that, we will select the object to find out where it is. Select the camera, and then we just click and drag that camera on top of the object. So in this case, now we've got the camera parented to the to the track, and now we go ahead to take the second camera and hit F to frame up a little bit, just to make sure I've got that set where I want it. And then we'll just take that and we'll left mouse drag and put it on top, parenting it to the the jib, so you can see that parented correctly it is so excellent so now we need to add those objects to the sequencer and to do that we just go in click on this green plus button add actor to sequence we will add the camera rig and we will also add the camera rig rail so those two objects have been added to start with those I'm going to start with the crane we will set keyframes on the pitch, yaw, and arm length, and you can see the keyframes showing up here. It adds the properties to the track. We'll move the time indicator to 100. We can even look through the camera to see, make sure we're getting a decent shot. So I'm just going to move the camera pitch, camera yaw a little bit, can modify the camera length, make it shorter or longer. Anyways, set, set keyframes for all three of those. Let's move those. It seems it didn't take. So let's select those. We can also set keyframes by modifying the parameters. And then hitting enter once again. So let's just make sure that those recorded properly. Now we need to take this information and add it to the camera cut track. So really we're not 
taking the camera rig information, we're actually taking the camera information and adding it to the shot. So in order to output that information, we need to click here on the, and let the camera cuts track know what camera we're using. So the, um, the rig crane is the cinematic camera actor 13. So that drops in. If we look through here, we can see that our cut's working appropriately. So finally, let's go from uh, frame 100 to, let's say, frame 100 to 200. So to do that, we're going to have to add a little bit extra time. This red line is, shows the, the composition length. So we can make the composition a little longer by dra clicking and dragging here. We'll make the composition length uh, 200. And then finally, we'll just do a really slow camera rig move um, from our rail. So we'll select the rail, set a keyframe on the rail track, the current position, and then we'll go to frame 200, and we will set that to 1. Set another keyframe there. Let's just confirm that we've got that camera move recorded. We do. So let's add that camera to our, our cut track. Looks like it's taken. Let's watch it. Yep, it's working. Let's add a quick fade track to this, so we'll fade out. Just go here. There is also a camera play rate track, so you could add one of these if you wanted to add slow motion or do something like bullet time, but we, in this case, we're just going to do a fade track. So we'll set a keyframe. We put the current time indicator right here, set a keyframe, and then as we get to frame 200, we'll set this to a value of 1 and hit enter, and so you can see that it fades out over 15 frames. Excellent. All right, so how do we record video? Well, one easy way to record video is just to click render this movie, you can set up the video sequence, your resolution, and also your output directory. Give it a name. So to do that. Also, how do we trigger this So with blueprints? I'm just going to show in the level blueprint. So we'll just do a keyboard event. We'll say we hit the T key, and then if we drag off here, we'll type in sequence. If you scroll up, you'll see the create level sequence player. And you need to choose the sequence player. So the one that we just created was the new level sequence two. And then we need to drag off the alt actor, and we need to play the sequence. So we'll just say play sequence player. And we need to connect this all up and compile, close, let's play and test. So here we are, we're walking around. We'll hit T on the keyboard. And there it is. And fade to black. Wonderful. Those are the items that we wanted to cover. Thanks so much for watching.